Welcome back. We continue now with a 10-year-old boy who has cerebral palsy, and he and his family are getting a home makeover. The hope is it'll make it easier for him to get around his house, and it's all thanks to the community and the help of first responders from East Windsor. NBC Connecticut's Jolie Sherman has more. Meet Gavin Anderson, a 10-year-old boy with a contagious smile. Gavin has spastic quadriplegic cerebral palsy. Because of the type of cerebral palsy he has, he's also nonverbal. Water. You want water? Water. Kate Anderson, Gavin's mother, says he's also not able to walk, making it difficult for him to get around the house. Right now, we carry him up and down stairs. When you lift a toddler, you know, they're able, they put their arms up, they hold on to you, they wrap their legs around you. He can't do any of that, so it really feels a lot heavier. Anderson says she needs her home to meet Gavin's needs. This includes having an ADA compliant kitchen, bathroom, his own bedroom, and easier access in and out of the house. The quotes that we were getting were astronomical. I mean, it was almost going to be cheaper to buy a brand new house. But the Anderson family isn't doing it alone. Their neighbor, who's a contractor, is helping renovate their home. Soon, this room will be a functional kitchen for Gavin. The family is also getting support from first responders. It's always fantastic when we can help somebody from the community that uh, and their family that might be struggling. East Windsor Fire, police and ambulance are stepping in by hosting a pasta dinner fundraiser at the Warehouse Point Station later this month. They also got dozens of businesses in the community to sponsor the event so all the proceeds can go straight to Gavin's family and his home can feel like home. The pasta dinner fundraiser is on Sunday, April 28th here at the fire station from 12 to 7 and tickets are $20. In East Windsor, Jolie Sherman, NBC Connecticut News.